Hello everyone. Today we will begin with the next chapter of English grammar tenses which holds a vital role in almost every topic that you will come across. So let's get started. Let me first explain you what a tense is. A tense is a form assumed by a verb to indicate the time of action. And by this I mean tense shows us the time. A tense is studied under three categories. First one is present tense, the second one past tense and the third one is future tense. But for your convenience, I will take up each tense in three different presentations. This one particularly based on the present tense. The usage of appropriate form of verb is of utmost importance in the structure of the sentence with the desirable tense. Therefore, main verbs assume three forms based on what kind of information related to tense they are used to convey. Let's have a small table in which we have three different forms of verbs. First form is do, did, done. Second is go, went, gone. Third is throw, threw, thrown. Fourth one is play, played, played. And the fifth one is grow, grew and grown. This is only a small list of verbs which will help you to interpret the usage of verbs in this presentation. The knowledge of V1, V2 and V3 is very important for daily conversation. So I recommend you to regularly refer the PDF file which I have sent in your respective class group. So children, let's study the present tense, which has four subdivisions, simple present, present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. Simple present tense. Structure is subject plus first form of verb plus object. If the subject is singular, then S or ES is used with the first form of verb. But if the subject is plural, then there is no need of such addition to the main verb. Let us understand this structure with the help of two examples. He goes to school. They Play in the playground. In the first example, he is a singular subject. So, the main verb go is written with es. While in the second example, they is a plural subject. And the main verb doesn't require any modification. Present continuous tense. Structure is subject plus is oblique am oblique are plus first form of verb plus ing plus object. Let's understand this structure through two examples. First example, he is going to school. Second, they are playing in the playground. Here, in the first example, 
is is used for the singular subject he and in the second example are is used for the plural subject they here i emphasize the importance of writing ing as it depicts the continuity of action present perfect tense structure is subject plus has oblique have plus third form of verb plus object let's understand this structure with the help of two examples first example is he has gone to school second example they have played in the playground here in both the examples we have used third form of verb in the first example he is a subject has is a helping verb and gone is a main verb while in the second example they is a subject have is a helping verb and played is a main verb the use of helping verb is according to the subject he is a singular subject so has is used in the second example they is a plural subject so have is used present perfect continuous tense structure is subject plus has oblique have plus been plus first form of verb plus ing plus since or for let's understand this structure with the help of two examples he has been going to school since 2018 they have been playing for and are generally perfect continuous tenses express duration or how long we use for to denote a period of time for an hour a month two years several days etc we use since to denote a point of time in the past since morning since evening since noon students you have studied the expression of a sentence in the present tense in four broad ways simple present present continuous present perfect and present perfect continuous tense each of the above four ways requires the use of an appropriate structure involving the subject the helping verbs and the v1 and v3 forms of main verbs you must have realized that i have used a pair of simple sentences and transformed them into each of the other three forms of present tense this must have helped you to realize the narration of the instance in different forms of present tense according to the requirement of a speaker i hope you would have understood the present tense thoroughly thank you